Welcome back to another Mapped in Web SDK guide. Today, we'll dive deeper into adding interactivity to your maps. Interactivity allows users to not only view your maps, but engage with them. This can range from simple actions like a hover color or adding fun click events. Let's turn your static maps into dynamic experiences. If you want to follow along, we'll be using the retail demo map that you can find on our trial keys and maps page. So this is the plain map that we'll be starting off with. And as you can see, there's no interactivity when I hover or click, but that will change very shortly. And now let's hop into our code editor. And currently our code right now is just simply our map render and we'll add on to that. So first off, Let's set each space to be interactive, and then afterwards, we'll add a hover color to it. So to target all spaces, we will need to use map data. So map data dot get by type, and our type is space. And now we want to iterate them through one by one. So we're going to use a for each, and for each space, open that up. We are going to use our map view to update our state. So let's use map view dot update state. And the state that we're updating is space. And how we're updating it is allowing interactive to be true. Cool, save that. Head back over to our map. And as you could see, now that we hover, our cursor changes from the hand to a pointer signaling to our users that this space right here is interactable. Cool. Now let's add a hover color because that's not fully clear that it's interactable. Um, and to do so is super easy. All we're going to go back into this update state. We're going to add another asset called hover color and the color. Let's set that to orange. Nice. So heading back here, if you can see now, we change, there is a hand on the default map and going in, we have a pointer and we have our color to indicate that this space right here is interactable. Nice. What about click events? So let's head back and learn about click events. Um, heading over to this dock here and going to handling our click events. All right. so. The Mapped in Web SDK has its own event handlers, which allow developers to grab info about user interactions with elements on the map, such as coordinates, floors, labels, markers, and spaces. After enabling our interactivity, click events on the space can be captured using map view dot on click. So let's go back to our code. And get that started. We're going to use map view dot on and click. We're going to use our async event handler and open that up. And now let's add a label with a coordinate of the dot where we clicked and attach the space name to that as well. So if we're going to check if this event is on a spaces, in the spaces array, we take the first one, check if it has a name. And if it does have a name, let's add a label to it. So map view dot labels dot add. And we're going to first add the coordinate. So event dot coordinate. And we are also going to add the name. So event spaces name. Cool. And what happens if it doesn't have a name? Let's also have a use case for that. So I'm going to have an else in here. We're going to do the same thing. Map view dot labels dot add. And we're going to do the same by adding a coordinate. So the user knows where they clicked And Let's add um, some text. This is our element. So lat is going to be event dot coordinate dot latitude. Nice. And our long, oh, long is going to be event.coordinate. And you guessed it, it is longitude. Give that a save. 
head back over to our map. And now that we click, we can see that this is a restaurant, this is a store, this is the food court, and over here, you can see that this lat and long are showing up with the coordinates that we, the coordinates of the click. Cool, and that's it with adding interactivity with our maps. Thanks for watching. Dive into our developer portal, unleash your creativity, and transform your maps into interactive masterpieces. Be sure to check out all our other cool guides or experiment in our playground. Happy mapping!